trying to um, organize my life and my schedule because it's very hard to be a mom and be a wife at the same time. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a video um, of me updating you guys um, with what's been going on with my life and why I haven't been vlogging and what are some changes that are going to be happening. Just so you guys know and you're aware and you're not. Oh my God, it's been two weeks and she hasn't posted a vlog or a video. So just so you are aware, um, my daughter is close to me. Um, she's playing with her toys and watching TV at the same time while I'm filming this video. So I apologize if you get annoyed by, you know, her noises and her talking in the background. Let's get right into this video and what I want to talk to you guys about. So really quick life update. Um, pretty much if you're wondering why I haven't been vlogging, um, I think it's been like three days already since I posted a vlog, which is not a lot. Um, but one of the reasons why I haven't been vlogging it's because I've been extremely busy, y'all. I'm not even lying to you. Like, life has just been so busy and so crazy that I'm just literally all over. Trying to um, organize my life and my schedule because it's very hard to be a mom and be a wife at the same time. And it's very challenging. And as some of you might know, if you're new to my channel, um, I am a Christian, you know, um, and I'm in church every Tuesday night, you know, every week, but Tuesday nights I teach my teen girls and I'm working with ninth graders all the way to 12th graders. So it's a very, very challenging group of girls, but I am working very hard to make their life better. And, you know, as a leader to see them grow spiritually, and it's very, very hard and very challenging if you work with teen, with teens you might know what I'm talking about, but it's very challenging in the Christian world and making them fit in and knowing, you know, their worth because a lot of them don't know that they're worth it. A lot of them don't know their worth. So I'm literally trying to keep my focus on that more because I know it's something that I need to do and it's something that has to get done. I feel like vlogging can wait. I feel like, you know, this can, can wait, you know, YouTube life, whatever what you want to call it, you know. And right here below, you guys are going to have my social media information. You guys can follow me through there. I post on those social medias all the time on Instagram, on Twitter, and I'm always on Snapchat. So you guys can feel free to contact me through there, to follow my life through there. Um, I'm not saying I'm quitting YouTube. I'm not saying that, so don't get scared. Because I do want to keep vlogging. But I think I'm going to cut it down to vlogging maybe once a week. Or, you know, maybe I'll just fill in, you know, I'll vlog every day, but I won't upload until only like once a week, not every other day because it's become very hard for me. Um, and there's some days where I'm like, I don't feel like vlogging today, you know? So I just feel like I don't do much exciting things during the week, you guys, especially, you know, now that I'm home and, you know, I'm just pretty much cleaning. So I don't want to be like, oh, another cleaning video, another this, you know what I mean? Because I don't want to bore you guys. You guys are my audience. I don't want to bore you guys. So I want to do things that are exciting for you guys. So I think I'm going to be vlogging the most when I do something fun. Um, like right now, at the end of this month, I'm going to New York with my friend. We're going to take a New York uh, trip to New York. So, you know, I will most likely be vlogging that day so you guys can see how much fun I had. Other than that, it's just like, you know, what am I going to be talking about every single day? But... Instead of vlogging, I am definitely going to try to upload videos of me chatting more. I might be doing more sit down and chat with me kind of videos. So if there's any topics, anything you guys want me to talk about, um, feel free to comment down below. Um, I know I spoke about how motherhood changed my life. But if you guys want me to do a video on just motherhood, um, feel free to comment down below. If you guys would like for me to do a video on marriage itself feel free to comment down below or write to me through my social media um so yeah you guys i'm gonna do a video of me sharing my testimony if you think i should do that give this video a big thumbs up right now because i feel like a lot of people need to hear others testimony and you know how they've become the person they are now how i've become this person so i think that's what i'm gonna name my video but it's definitely gonna come up very soon 
Um, and I just appreciate your support. I appreciate you guys constantly, you know, checking on me and making sure we're okay and why I haven't uploaded and stuff. I really appreciate it. Um, it means a lot to me. But it's snowing like crazy. I think my husband's going to be home very soon because he did call me and told me that they might be letting them leave early. He works for our city, so they never close. He works for the gas company, so they never really close. Um, they don't care. I think the world could be ending or the world could be falling apart and he still has to work. Anyways, y'all, so, you know, I, I don't know. Like, it's just been, um, it's been crazy. It's always something, you know. Um, like, right now, I started doing this hair um, hustle, you know. I'm doing this little hustle on the side. So, I've been, you know, I have a couple clients that are going to be very faithful to me. So, I really, really take that to consideration. Um, also, you know, working with these girls, it's very tough. It's very tough. So I'm trying to like plan out the year with them and see what cool things I can do with them. Um, as soon as the weather permits, of course. And also I was going to join this company called, um, I, I don't know how you say the name. So I'm gonna just write it right here for y'all. Um, it's a company of skincare products and that's all they really sell like skincare stuff I don't really know a lot of people that buy stuff from companies like, you know Or they're interested in skin products, you know, some people take really good care of their skin I don't feel like I have any problem with my skin. So I wouldn't be buying products The only thing I am interested in buying is like their eye circle um, Cream their eye cream because I do have some dark circles I, you guys can see it. Um, I do have some dark circles. So the lady that I was talking to did tell me that they do work. <clears throat> also, um, I forgot to mention to you guys, it's been a year since we've been in this house. And I'm telling you, it's been nothing but a blessing. We love living here. This house is so cozy. Like, I, I don't like really, really big houses. Like, that's probably like a dream house. But a family home, you know, that you just feel like you're welcome, that you just feel like this is where you belong. I remember from the moment a year ago when we walked through this door and we were like, yep, this is it. This is where we're living. And we love it. The neighborhood is super nice. People are super nice to you. I mean, I just completely love it, y'all. But yeah, and also um, another update I wanted to give you guys was um, about my daughter's um, hearing issues. So... We feel like she's been hearing 10%, you know, 10% more than she did. Um, but we still feel that, you know, we still got to give her some time. The doctor said that completely it would take like at least a month to see full progress, really, with her hearing. Um, and even some developmental things. So there are certain things that she doesn't do, which is why we're doing early intervention with her. Um, so right now, on Monday... Um, actually, no, it wasn't Monday. It was actually yesterday, Tuesday. Um, a coordinator from the early intervention program I'm going to be doing with her um, came over the house and she was here for an hour. And thankfully, my husband was off because he wasn't feeling well. So he was off Monday and Tuesday. Um, and, you know, long story short, she was just pretty much asking us questions, you know, um, her age, da 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 da, da you know, what, um, what she should be doing by now. She was just telling us. You know, and asking us, does she do this? Does she do that? Which for most of it was no. So she scored pretty low on communication and speech, which speech falls into communication because you need your words in order to communicate. So she scored very low on that. I think she scored a zero. And then on personal social, which if I'm not mistaken, um, she's, you know, like, it's more like if you don't, like to be around other kids which the one time i took it to the trampoline um place which is like a sky zone like sky zone i don't know if you, i don't know if you guys know what i'm talking about if you know about this kind of places i don't know if they have them where you live the trampoline place is an indoor trampoline park and i noticed the kids were trying to like get her attention and play with her and they were around her age you know they were like one and a half or two and she would just like push them away and just kept on walking. Like she literally just rather be by herself. Um, so it was just a couple concerns and the lady was like, well, she definitely um, needs to be evaluated. So next week, I will definitely keep you guys updated on that. 
because I know some of you have been following this journey with my daughter and her, and her hearing. Um, so definitely next week, they're going to come out and do a hearing screen. Um, and then they're also going to come out sometime next week as well to do an evaluation. And then they're going to see what exactly she needs um, therapy for. If it's either speech therapy, um, I don't know, motor skill therapy. But I don't think it's much motor skills because she's very like... I'm telling you, like, she, like, she can grab a ball and throw it at you. Like, she does things like that. So, it's not like she's, like, paralyzed and can move. We, just, we were more concerned about the hearing and the communication because she only says, like, two words the most. Two words um, that you can actually understand. The rest is, like, baby talk, you know, um, that, 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 like, little baby talk. So, um, I'm glad that's just being, you know, soft and I'm on it. So, I'm just, I wanted to share that with you guys because I know a lot of people were writing to me through Instagram and asking me, how is she doing? Is she hearing better and stuff? And, you know, guys, it's only been two, it's only been two weeks. So, I can't say, okay, boom, she's, like, hearing completely fine. You know, like, there's a big progress. Because, no, I'll be lying. There's not, like, a huge progress. It's only like a 10% progress if you want to know that yeah that's pretty much with my daughter so I've been you know I had to share this with y'all because it was very frustrating and I don't know if there's any moms out there watching this video right now and you're struggling with your kids hearing or if they also got ear tubes done for the same reason my daughter got them done due to fluid behind her ears and I'm sure you heard me say this plenty of times but in case you're new to my channel she had fluid behind her ears and it caused her to have mild hearing loss, which is why she's delayed in these um, certain things. Um, I understand some of you are probably saying, but you know what, give her time um, because they all grow at their own pace. I understand that. But there are certain things that by 18 months, you know, she's already 18 months. By 18 months, I think she should be saying at least five words. And by two, she should be putting words together. So like, I like, I want. So things like that, but I feel like she's not there yet. So I need that extra help. I need that extra support because there's only me and her during the day. And like the coordinator, you know, the lady from early intervention was like, you know, can, does she sit down and try to listen to you read a story to her? No, she won't do that. She won't do that. As parents, we always want the best for our kids and we want our kids to be better than us. So that's my goal as a mom, you know, hashtag mom goals. But yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it. Um, that was... For sure, one of the main up updates that I wanted to give you guys, just because I knew some of you were like concerned and were asking me questions. So I figured why not just put it on a whole video and you guys can just watch it. Um, so yeah, guys, that's pretty much for my life update. I wanted to give you guys a heads up of what's going to be going on in case you don't see me updating and all that good stuff. <laughs> Anyways... Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you guys if you guys have any suggestions or any topics you would like for me to talk about, definitely comment down below because I'm definitely going to be uploading more videos like that of sit down and chat kind of videos. Um, so, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.